This is the solution to written homework 28. Okay, so we have the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is less or equal to 6. <clears throat> so that means that whatever's inside of this absolute value, whatever's in there, we just need it to be less than, uh, we need it to be uh, in magnitude less than 6. So that means that whatever's in there could be 4, it could be 0, it could be negative 3, but it couldn't be 7, 7 would be too big. It could be negative 5, but it couldn't be negative 7 because negative 7 would be too negative. So in this case, what we need is we need the the expression inside of the absolute value to be between the sixes. That is to say between negative six and positive six. <clears throat> so negative six is less or equal to two x minus five is less or equal to six. Okay, and then this is solved just like, just like anything else. So we'll add 5 to all positions. So add 5, add 5, add 5. So when that's done, that would be negative 1, less or equal to 2x, less or equal to 11, and then divide by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, so negative half, half, less or equal to x, less or equal to 11 halves, and therefore written in interval notation, this would be negative half to 11 halves. And it's square parentheses, brackets, uh, because we're including those. Okay, so for, for part B, it's important to think about what it's asking. It's saying that what could you put in to that absolute value so that what would come out would be greater than negative 1? And the answer is anything at all. No matter what you put in that absolute value, it's going to be bigger than <coughs> it's going to be bigger than negative one. So this will be true for any x whatsoever, any x at all. So the so the answer is negative infinity to infinity because anything you put inside of the absolute value is going to be bigger than negative one. <coughs> Okay, so now for part C, for part C, we want to know what could we put inside of the absolute value so that what would come out would be greater or equal to, neg uh, to positive 4. So that means we could put a 4 in there. If we could make the inside a 4, that would work. Uh, if we could make what was inside of there 5, that would work too, or 10, or 10 million. So, so long as what's in there is bigger than, uh, greater than or equal to 4, that would work. But it would also work if what was inside of the absolute value was negative 10. Because if what was inside of the absolute value was negative 10, then we'd compute the absolute value of it, and that would be 10, which is greater or equal to 4. So this, by contrast to part A, this is outside... outside uh, the fours. <clears throat> so by contrast to part A. So that means that <clears throat> we need 2x plus 3 to be less or equal to negative 4. That means we need it to be small enough 
or we need 2x plus 3 to be greater than or equal to 4, which means we need it to be big enough. Okay, so negative enough or positive enough would work. So now we solve these two individually. So adding 3 to both sides, this would be 2x is less or equal to negative 1, or 2x is greater or equal to 7. So now we'll divide both of these by 2. So x is less or equal to negative half, or x is greater or equal to 7 halves. And therefore, writing this in interval notation, that would be negative infinity to negative half, including negative half union, uh, 7 halves to infinity. So that is to say, we needed the expression 2x plus 3 to be small enough, negative enough, or positive enough. And either one of those would work. Okay, and then finally for this one, we need what's inside of the absolute value to be less than, uh, to, we need what's inside of the absolute value to be such that the absolute value of it would be less than negative 3. Well, there isn't anything that could make that work. There's nothing you could put inside of that absolute value so that what comes out is less than negative 3. So no such x would work. And then in interval notation, there isn't, it's an empty interval, so you can just write empty or another uh, possible notation that's common use in mathematics is this, which means the empty set.